Thank you, Jeremiah. It was a historic 2013 season for the Indiana Hoosiers baseball team. A 49-16 record, IU won its first Big Ten title outright in 81 years, and most importantly, after defeating Florida State in the Super Regional, Indiana advanced to the College World Series for the very first time. The Hoosiers had some success while they were in Omaha. In the opening game, Joey Donato pitched a complete game shutout to help Indiana defeat Louisville 2-0 to advance. Unfortunately, that victory was short-lived with one-run losses to Mississippi State and Oregon State, sending the team home yesterday. But the Hoosier faithful were there at the airport to light the spirits of their team. And then there was even more fans over at Kauffman Stadium to cheer them upon their bus ride to the university. And now that the Hoosiers have experienced the College World Series, they are ready to make a run once again in 2014. It's just something you would talk about and now to actually go and experience it and be a part of it, it's real. And, and I think that's what's going to give us a little bit extra motivation the off season and, and make guys work a little harder. So it was, it was a good time and I will cherish that forever. Now, now we look at it as that we got a goal to get to next year. You know, we, 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 we uh, point out Omaha, but we didn't really make a specific goal. Now we got uh, something to go out there and prove. And uh, I mean, we're, 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 we're chomping at the bit for next year to come, and uh, we got big things to do. Yeah, I mean, it starts today uh, rebuilding, getting back to work, um, getting back in the weight room, and, and, and keep getting better, really, not never being satisfied. All the players and Coach Smith were in agreement. It will take a few more days for the team to get over the losses, but when they do, they surely will be able to take a step back and appreciate having the greatest baseball season in the history of IU.